It has recently occurred to me that many of you have probably never had the pleasure of playing The Sims 3, and a lot of you may have never even seen much from The Sims 3. And The Sims 3 is like my favorite game of all time. So, today I want to show you City Living, except it's 2010 and the pack is called The Sims 3 Nightlife. <laughs> And I was thinking we could try and renovate an apartment in Bridgeport because because I just love this world. It makes me happy. And I think that many of you might be impressed by some of the build tools in The Sims 3. We had this thing called Create a Style and you could literally change the color of anything you wanted with a color wheel. None of this swatch business. It was miraculous. Now this, my friends, is Bridgeport. Looking at this again, it does seem a bit dreary. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it seem a bit dark? But this is the world. The worlds were a lot bigger back in the day, as you can see. Like, a lot bigger <laughs> back in the day. But I want to renovate one of the apartments. I'm just not sure which one. Long ago, a row of mansions lined downtown Bridgeport. The land grab brownstone is now the only one to remain. Although the once opulent residence has been divided into income producing apartments, the historic garden and elegant facade are largely intact. See, there's so many buildings and there's high rises. Once the site of a Bridgeport armory, it was decided that next to a bridge was the poor place to store high explosives. Now the armory caters to nocturnal city dwellers who like the thick walls and small windows. I swear, they were better at lore back in the day. Look, there is even a community garden at the bottom of this building. Anyway, there is a lobby, and if you go up, this is our apartment. It's actually quite big, it's like the whole floor. You weren't kidding about the small windows. <laughs> Look how dark it is in this one. And in The Sims 3, you could change the size of your apartments. Obviously you can't without cheats, but with cheats, you could move the walls and the windows and stuff like that. You could also even adjust the lobbies and stuff. And so sometimes I would put like laundry or like a gym in the building down in the lobby. Look at this apartment. So you can see they split it off into different units. This is ours. We have a staircase and we are on the second floor. Look how big that bathroom is as well. And then you have that balcony. This is not a bad apartment, to be honest. I mean, it's weird. The building is weird. It's giving me very much uh, goth mansion in The Sims 4, but <laughs> interesting. See, look, this one actually has a gym already in the lobby that like everybody can access. Functional elevators The Sims 4 could never. Oh, that is a big apartment too. Not bad. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at this one. That's weird. I don't like it. Look, there's even garages in this one so you can park a car here Oh, I like the size of this apartment. This is this is more my vibes the one bedrooms <laughs> That's what appeals to me, but you see how fun this is. Oh, this one's tiny the sims 4 could never <laughs> I miss this kind of thing. Okay, sorry. Well, my goal is not just to look at apartments. It is, in fact, to renovate them. This building has covered sports car parking, a gym. Oh, and the big windows. Okay, I might renovate this apartment. It is also occupied by Romeo Rake, who is a very attractive sim. Though he is a cop, so never mind. <laughs> Level nine one as well. Ooh. Ooh, no, look. You have a police cruiser. I forgot about that in The Sims 3. Wait, oh my god, I can take that? That's like my neighbor's car, but I can just snatch it? It's a hundred thousand simoleons? <laughs> That is hilarious. There's no way this man has a hundred thousand simoleon car, but we can just take the neighbors. Sure. Okay, step one, mother load. Step two, remove all of this. I like the apartment, don't get me wrong. It's a good place to start, but I'm not a fan of the brown counters or the half wall. <laughs> There's a lot I want to change. Oh, I love that mirror. I might keep the mirror. Sorry, did you see that computer? It is in fact 2010. So, oh, and the telescope. Look, we used to have like regular telescopes and not observatories. You know what I mean? Okay, I have removed everything. On, off. Wait, restrict build buy in buildings off. Yes. Okay, so with that cheat, no, oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say with that cheat we can adjust the apartments, but you can move the windows. Okay, so this thing is a public room marker. That's from debug. That's what marks this as like public space. Because I have the cheat on, I can edit the public space. So if I wanted to put an olive tree, for example, in the hallway, I could. Is this a mod? I've never seen that olive tree in my life, <laughs> but I really like it. So I'm gonna put it in the house. Anyway, I'm not here to, to use the cheats so much. I'm here to do the basics. <laughs> like put an olive tree down. Okay, I think I wanna change the flooring to hardwood. I, I love the apartment carpet, don't get me wrong. Feels very realistic, but I want an upgrade, like this puzzle piece wood floors. No, I'm just kidding, I'm gonna use these, I think. I feel like that matches the doors. I don't wanna change the doors because I want them to match the ones in the hallway. We'll do doors and windows the same. <laughs> Look at that little light. This is the problem with playing The Sims 3 again, is that I don't always remember like all the things. <laughs> it's been a while. I feel like I've kind of forgotten what I like to use. Oh, also you cannot size things up or down, but, and hang on, I'll move my face for this. 
center of the screen's fine. You can use a tool called Create a Style, and with this, you can change anything, and I mean everything. <laughs> Any pattern, any color can all be adjusted. Now, this, in my opinion, is both a blessing and also maybe a curse. Because if you're anything like me, you can't stop. Like, it takes so much longer to build than it needs to because of that. I kind of want to go for like a darker greenish color on the walls. Not into the beige, but this is better. And they put the kitchen like here, but they had it like in a galley style kitchen. I might do something similar, but different. <laughs> Those are very much outdoor cabinets. Mid-century, woodland, cowboy. Literally is what it's called, modern cowboy counters. I use these a lot. I might swap the countertop from metal to like some sort of granite. You know, this is kind of what I'm thinking we could do. The other problem is that create a style is very laggy. <laughs> oh, and counters auto snap, so they're kind of annoying. You can turn that off, the snapping, but counters are like a little bit annoying in this game. We have it really good in The Sims 4. There's also not like different pieces of cabinets. Like, you know in The Sims 4 how you can have like fun different size cabinets and stuff? You can't do that in this game. Should I do this to like make the fridge blend in? Is that weird or is it cool? Also, need a dishwasher in this game. It's very important. <laughs> I'm wondering if I should bother with the island or not. See, and then I wanna pick a tile. Don't know what kind, <laughs> but we can pick like anything. Do you know what's interesting? I feel like this kind of tile is actually kind of in right now, like stacked tiles. <sighs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that looks like marble. I want like a fancy metal range hood, but we don't really have that. Like it's just not a thing. Should we get like a fancy coffee maker maybe? Trash. Oh God, fire alarm, duh. Yeah, we would regret not having one of those. <laughs> I swear this game never has what I'm looking for when it comes to decorations. Like I love it, <laughs> don't get me wrong, but it's never what I want. <laughs> and it's so hard to dig through everything. Is that a cactus? Oh, cute. Okay, that's fine. Wow. <laughs> I never know what rug I want to use. I'm looking- I always default to this one. What I was kind of thinking about doing here is putting a small dining set in front of the windows. They kind of had that before I showed up <laughs> and deleted it all, but- Oh, this could work. Like a sort of creamy rug. Oh, so laggy. Oh, oh, don't crash. Oh, speaking of don't crash, I should try and save the game. Uh oh. Yeah, create a style, like I said, blessing, but ooh. oh, oh, <laughs> that's so tiny. I want to try and do this without move objects because I think it would be nice if we like knew for sure that the game wouldn't break when you tried to use it. It's like there's so many powerful things you can do in The Sims 3 and I'm just not going to do them. Ah, I want the house to function, please. Oh, these are like the tiny living lights. So are these. Oh, <gasps> look at them. This is what I want in The Sims 4. Okay, we need a much bigger rug in the living room. I'm thinking we go for like a big square. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh my. I want to use a wall TV. Oh my god. I want to use a wall TV. The problem is that you can't lower them. This is a weird thing about The Sims 3 as well, is all the TVs came like on their TV stands. Keeping in mind, right, that this game came out in 2009. It was a different time back then. <laughs> Yeah, the TVs and the computers really date this game. <laughs> Thoughts on a butterfly rug? Maybe? I think I want it to be patterned, but I don't want it to be like too patterned. That's why I think I might like something like this if we made it all a very light sort of creamy color. See, like that could be totally fine. It's a bit ugly. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> it looks weird, but that's okay. I used to always use these couches. These were a Sims 3 store item. Ooh, leather couch? That is in fact very in right now. It's fake leather, don't worry. <laughs> I would never use real leather in my Sims builds or in real life, but more importantly in my Sims builds. Oh dear. See, problems with creative style, you dye the rug by accident when you're trying to copy the wood color from the cabinets. Oh no. Oh, I want to put this here. I know I wasn't going to use move objects, but think about how nice that would be right there. It's perfect right there. I have to. I have no choice. It'll still function. That's not going to break with move objects. We should be fine. That is beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> I really like it. Is this a good time to use that mirror we liked? Oh, maybe. It does look pretty good. I'm not really feeling the rug. <laughs> I hate to say it, but <laughs> I am not so sure about her. I want like a ever so slightly olive tone. But that's so green. Oh, I want it to be creamy, I think. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I want more big plants. That could work. Ooh, I like that pot it's in. Okay, and then this wall, it's gonna need some big artwork. I want something wide though, not square. Big, but 
Oh, that actually could work. What is that from? Oh, it has a few swatches. Ooh, oh, I really like that. <laughs> I think that looks really good. Now, quick word of warning. I don't think I have any custom content in my game, but I do have some store content that I got not from the Sims 3 store, if that makes sense. <laughs> so there are certainly some items in here that I do not know the origins of. Now, do with that information what you will. <laughs> Ooh, oh, that's nice. I wish that I had wall space for that. Oh, wait, what if we put that, wait, in the kitchen. I'll move the wall plant somewhere else. That could be perfect in the kitchen. It's so laggy. Oh, I can't put it on the, okay. <laughs> lag, 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 okay. <laughs> I realize you guys can't really see my creative style tool that much, but eh. I like that, I think that's nice. Here's a fish. Oh, that's nice. I don't think the bathroom is big enough to use it. <laughs> I'm trying to find like things to put on the coffee table, but I'm not really sure what. For example, maybe this pie. I have a lot of like bathroom looking stuff. See, look at all this. Cones, cookie jar. Oh my God, let's use that. Oh, this little mouse on the pumpkin. Rose, octocat, horse grooming, bread. Oh my, <laughs> that is quite the fruit basket. <laughs> oh, the teapot's not bad. Yeah, I think the teapot might be our best bet. Oh, stop, I want it to be centered. Oh my God, is that even centered? I don't think you can center it. Never mind. I hate The Sims 3. <laughs> every every good thing I ever said about The Sims 3, I take it back. Do you know what? The game's being a bit laggy. I might save it because I would probably cry if it crashed right now. I think going into live mode helped fix some lag problems too. So that was probably for the best. Okay, I might move the plant to the corner, kind of nearer to the windows. And I was thinking about getting a floor lamp. Oh, do you want to put like a fancy floor lamp? <laughs> no, that's weird. There are so many floor lamps I've literally never seen in this game. I feel like this one might be my first choice though. I don't know what to put on that wall. <laughs> I feel stumped. Maybe we pick like a brick as an accent. I want like a more distressed looking. That's not really what I was talking about, but. Oh, actually maybe I like the color of that. That'll work for now. Ceiling light. All right, I'm gonna do the bathroom first. This tiny light reminds me of the Sims 4 one we always use, but it is not the same in the Sims 3. <laughs> that is not a good light. I might go for like a a deeper blue color, kind of like that. And we can pair some brick maybe behind where the sink will go. We had so many more shower tub combos in The Sims 3 as well. We had a lot less showers in general, but there was more like shower tub combos than we have in The Sims 4, which is always weird to me because I feel like shower tub combos are probably the most common, at least thing that I experience where I live. Like these things are everywhere. <laughs> in my mind, like a standalone shower is kind of fancy, but it's kind of the opposite in The Sims. I want a pretty sink. 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 I'm not really sure about any of these. Oh, that one's cool, huh? Oh my God, it takes so much longer to build in this game than it does in The Sims 4. If this was The Sims 4, we would have been done like 30 minutes ago. Uh, that's maybe an exaggeration. I have been recording for like 50 minutes, but we would have finished faster. That much is true. Oh, you can't raise up mirrors. Uh, I'll use that one, it's fine. I want a tall, skinny plant. I feel like I've been stumped. This one might work. It's a little bit too tall and not skinny enough. You know what? The bathroom will function better if we do it like this. I would like how it looks better if it were centered, but it probably will function better like this. So maybe it's for the best. Okay, I might save the game again because she's being a bit laggy. Okay, and last but not least is the bedroom. <laughs> so I want to make sure we have a computer in here. I think that's important. I think I also want to use some more of that brick because I kind of like how it looks. I guess we could put it behind the bed. I want a four poster bed, but I don't remember if we have something like that. Oh, there's the base game one, but that's not really the vibe that I was going for. Uh, that's not really the vibe either. Okay, maybe the ones that I'm, the ones that we have are all a bit too fancy. I want something like modern with very clean lines. You know, like this is not really gonna cut it. We do have a lot of them though, don't we, huh? Murphy bed? We know a thing or two about those because of The Sims 4. <laughs> this one might work. I'm okay with that. I think that's fine. Nightstand wise, I might make these black. Something about that is interesting to me. There's so many weird items in this game. Like look at that lamp. This looks like one of the lamps in The Sims 4. Do you know what I'm talking about? Except this one is probably better and you can also customize it more so it's immediately better <laughs> but it, it's the base that's kind of similar to the sims 4 base game one the one in the sims 4 is like chunkier though okay dresser i like that one okay that's kind of cool we pick an interesting mirror i mean that was the mirror that was there before but i'd like to pick something different like even that one could be fun i used to use these paintings in this game all the time 
<laughs> like, I swear, in almost every build, I use these paintings. I'd probably use them all the time in The Sims 4, too. I think if we were to get a thing like this in The Sims 4, I'd love to see just a little tiny square painting with a ton of swatches like that that you could use to make a thing like this. That you could size up or down, you know? Oh, please hurry up. <laughs> I can't even move the game. I literally can't move the game. I broke it. I killed it. I killed The Sims 3. Oh, we're back. Okay. I want another one of these trees because I thought it was so nice. I love 2009. <laughs> Look at this computer. It's hilarious. Okay, I kind of like this room. I might use that painting from the living room again, but in a different color because it looks really nice. I wish I could size it down, <laughs> but alas, we cannot. Do you know what? I think I like this apartment. I would play in this apartment. Also, I believe it ended up being cheaper than it was originally. Somehow, miraculously, I used less money. <laughs> like I gave myself 50,000 simoleons and then deleted all the furniture and now I have 58,000 left. So I'm not really sure how that works out, but it did. Also, can we talk about the view for a second? Look at your view from your living room windows. Are you kidding me? No wonder that Sim has a hundred thousand Smolian car. The like richest of the rich live here apparently. If you like The Sims 3, I actually have a couple Let's Plays playing The Sims 3 on my YouTube channel. Like I did a whole Generations and University Let's Play, so I can link those playlists for you if you want. I haven't played The Sims 3 on YouTube in a while, but I have been streaming it recently. So if you want to come to my streams, it's just twitch.tv forward slash lilsimsy. I'm usually live every day, although right now I'm at my cousin's wedding, so I'm not live because I'm at my cousin's wedding when you're seeing this. But anyway, there's links in the description box. <laughs> I'm not going to put this up for download because I don't know how. Um, and with that being said, I think I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye everybody. I actually do know how, but it's complicated and last time I tried it didn't work because my game kept crashing when I was trying to export the files, so I'm not going to put it up for download. <laughs>